Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. It is, once again, that most festive time of the year, and Frontier have released an in-game event for Christmas 3308, or 2022. Sandra's Workshop has us delivering presents out to the needy children of the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. This video deals with missions 4, 5, and 6. Okay now everyone, this is your spoiler alert. This video deals with how to complete the in-game Christmas event. There are going to be spoilers. So, if you want to continue to support the channel and watch me play through and complete this side of it, by all means hang around. If you want that experience yourself, then it may be worthwhile just waiting until after the event or completing it yourself and then taking a look. If you're still with me then have a happy Christmas. We're gonna have a little bit of fun now completing off this in-game Christmas mission. So at Frost Dock you were then given a little notice right as a form of a recap from Sandra Cause. She's the CEO, Sandra Cause, do you get it Santa Claus? She's the CEO of the biggest toy manufacturer in the bubble and it's our job to go and deliver toys to six needy children who have their list in a beacon in the same system. So we have done modules one to three. Check out that video and it's in the description and also at the top right hand side in the little cards if you want to have a look at that. We're going to crack on now with missions four, five and six. Close that off and complete this in-game event. So without more to do let's get cracking. As you can see I've got my crate sleigh all fitted out with the nice flak firework busters, the festive flak cannon. Okay, so here we are, four of six, Sandra's workshop. Darcy Draper, age seven. Dear Sandra, I keep seeing these beautiful flowers on the news feeds, and it makes me want to draw. My friends laugh at me when I say that, but I think they're pretty. Oh, Thargoid worshippers, eh? My Judson datapad broke when my little brother dropped it in the toilet. Little brothers, eh? Blah, blah, blah. Can you send me another one? Um, and the flowers. Thank you very much. All that stuff. It's irrelevant. They've already typed us off to what it actually is. It's in Mizar, right? And it's going to be Judson Station. I know Judson Station. Been there. Bit of a stomping ground for me as well. No dramas. If you are struggling to find out where these elements are, a little bit of Googling like Elite Dangerous, Judson, will pick up and give you an option and point you at the right system, the Mizar system, indeed. Couple of jumps, not too far away, and we'll be there in a jiffy. So here we are on approach to Judson Station, which is mission four out of the six missions or gift missions or gift deliveries that we have to do. Getting ourselves in there, Getting ourselves onto the pad is going to be nice and easy. Everything's been quite clear, has to be said. So here we go, into cell, all the way down. We're going to select our festive gifts, which are our rare items. We're just going to sell one ton. That's all you need is to sell one ton. And that gets you the message. And then the message of completion will be found in your space email box. There it is. What you get, an anaconda snowfall chestnut paint job and a festive gifts ornament bobblehead. Oh, there you have it, everybody. Something for your conda and something for the old dashboard. Now, I thought I'd go and put that dashboard on the ship. Why not? Into cockpit accessories in the livery section. There it is, festive gifts. Something I didn't have before. And it'll go nicely with the snowman and the snowflake on my dashboard. Nice and easy. At least there was something I gained from this. To be fair, after doing the winking cap one we did last year, a lot of the stuff I already had. I already had the, the festive launchers. I've already had, um, you know, some of the other stuff that they give you as well. I mean, the Anaconda Snowfall Chestnut paint jobs, they're new. So I'm quite happy to have those as well. We had the Crate Phantom one for Mission 2, the Type 9 Diamondback Explorer, all good stuff. So next up, 
is five of six. We've got Hintak Thorpe. They go on a little bit about this, that and the other, but it's a race to London is what they're looking at. He has been looking at some historical entertainment at school this month. My teacher took a class to the museum. Some ancient consoles must be very old. I've never seen anything like them before. It was a special room where we could play some old games. And my favorite one was called A Race to London. So typing in Elite Dangerous London again does bring up Epsilon Indy as the system and London Relay as the station. There you go, Epsilon Indy. Getting a bit closer now, see, 12.61 light years away from where we are. No, no, 93.45 light years away from where we are. I don't know what happened then. Quite easy though, into the system map. And then we can confirm the fact that one of the stations there just past Snyder Relay is London Relay. And that's where we're going to go. Another an eventful journey. No one's trying to mug us off for our Christmas gifts, which would have been nice, I think, really, if that had been the case. But I've been lucky, whatever you want to call it. So here we are, London Relay, an Epsilon Indie system. Once again, you know the score by now. This is the fifth one out of the six missions. First Sandra Cause. Santa Cause, good old frontier. They do lift our spirits a little bit, don't they, these, these end of year missions? I think it's something to do. A little bit of fun. Into sell. Let's sell a ton of festive gifts. And let's see what we get this time. So this is number five, which gives us, as you can see, a snowman helmet, which I didn't have because I don't particularly like them. And a Santa jumper green, which I had, I believe, from the last in-game event. Now... With these stations, especially this one, because it's the first one that deals kind of with the Odyssey side of things, right? It would have been nice if they'd hung a few baubles, stuck a Christmas tree artifact in the corner of the station, because typically a lot of people have gone, oh, Christmas jumper, let's get myself in there. Oh, look, there's a Christmas tree. Would it have taken that much, really? Would he use these in-game artifacts then, year on year on year across different stations? Wouldn't have been a bad thing. Just my own little point of view. I don't like that snowman hat. I know it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of a joke. You know, I like, I get it. I understand, but I don't know why. Anyway, I like the red jumper as opposed to the green. No dramas, but just for completeness, we'll be wearing the green the remainder of these missions. And there it is on my, on my commander as he approaches the sleigh, so to speak. So, we're going to get him in the ship, and then it's time to get on and have a look at the final one um, of the Sandra Cause missions for this festive event in Elite Dangerous. Right the way down the bottom, there'll be the sixth and final mission. As you can see, I'm getting all my Arx rewards as well for logging on every day to the game. Sandra's Workshop. There you go. I'm about to turn 11. I would really like a Starship racetrack. I've got, never got a big present before because Eden is so far away from everything. Well, do you know what? I know what this is straight away. It's at an orbital, right? Um, they continue. I just get a new mug every year. Oh, just reaffirming what I said. Um, that's why I wanted to ask you. I heard you make the best toys, and Mum always says you won't send anything if I don't tell you. Please, please, send one of your ships out here. It would make the best holiday ever. So, this is going to be in for the long haul, this is, isn't it, really? We're going to be off to Petan Orbital in the Alpha Centuri system. So, fair enough. Now, Alpha Century is just but a short jump away. And to confirm, there's the Eden planet and there's Hutton Orbital that is orbiting it as well. And you can see all the fleet carriers there, all the nightly from the Hutton Orbital truckers. Who knows? But this is going to be a long one, right? This is going to be a real long one. And if you haven't been to Hutton Orbital before, uh, home of the Hutton Orbital truckers, great in game community. And also, it has a rare item, that rare item being the Hutton Orbital Mug. For the mug, you might have heard that. If you're new to the game, 
this is a long one. Make sure you've got a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits, because when you get in system, away from the jump-in point, it's 0.21 light years, right, to get to Hutton Orbital, even at full belly. There it is, look. So you're going to be in for the duration there. So, like I say, it'll take a little bit of time. Go off, put the washing on, grab some presents, have some eggnog, and a mince pie. And then, you'll still have some time to wait. Typically, it is going to take you about an hour to get there, right? About an hour. Just so you know. Anyway, after our long old poke, as it were, all the way to Hutton Orbital, which seemed to take longer than what it usually did, even though I had my foot to the floor. I'm at Hutton Orbital. So, time to offload some festive gifts. Into the commodities market. You can see you can get Hutton Mug and Century Mega Gin here to buy as well. Worthwhile stocking up on those while you're here, because it is a bit of a pain to get you. There's my festive gifts. Let's give him a ton of that. Sell. Thank you very much. Job done. We've got the notification. Let's go and see what we get. Complete. 20 million cool credits. Well, there you go. That was the end of the festive in-game event for 3303. 3308 in 2022, I should say. I do beg your pardon. I've been Ricardo. Hope you've enjoyed this video and the video that came before it for missions 1 to 2. Check back for more live streams over the festive period and more videos on Elite Dangerous and other games. Thanks very much for watching and thank you for your continued support to my channel. See you soon.